Congratulations, tough three set win. Your thoughts on your performance today? Yeah, like you say, it's a really difficult match for first round. She's a tough opponent to face, but I'm glad at the end I found a way to win through the match and and win this match. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Congratulations. Questions? Court. Congratulations, Jing Shiman. Um I'm curious what the um, the backhand return you hit at two two that came back over the net. Yeah. How much of that is skill and how much of that is luck? <laughs> Ninety nine percent luck. <laughs> no, maybe just one percent of skills. Cause honestly, I never done that in the practice, not even once in all my practice. Being like more than ten years, and I made it this time during the match. So <laughs> it's just all lucky. Yeah, the wins helps a bit as well. Good. How much? It was a very important point. Um, I think it was two-two love fifteen. You were trying to break, and then you broke in that game in the mm -hmm. second set. Uh, is there any uh, connection there in terms of how big that point was for you, or was it just a feeling in that game that uh, that got you the break? Well, I haven't thought that point is the key point that makes me the breakthrough, because generally I start to feel better at the end of the first set. So, you know, I'm just to trying to find my chance. When the chance arrives, I wish I could take it. But I'm happy it is that game. I got a little bit lucky and I'm able to take the take the game and at the end to get a second set because it was really difficult the match today. I mean, she's hitting the ball very strong and the only things I feel I can do today during the match is just to, you know, stay with her and find my moment. Matt? Yeah, I was... Curious if you think that's a match you might have lost not so long ago, losing the first set and you know first round after coming off a big win in Paris. I'm just curious how you feel you're a different player now, uh, especially after Paris. Yes, I totally agree with you. It's the typical match I will lose, especially after huge success, because as I know myself, usually after huge success, I will get a little bit too high and then until the reality slapped me down again and I come back to the ground and trying to be humble and work hard. So this time when I get a success, I'm telling myself, I don't want to let this happen. I'm going to continue working hard, keep the stable mindset. And I'm ha really happy to get this match because she's really tough to face. Like you see, she's in the final of Toronto. I think one of her best services is on hard court to win this match, which means I make one step forward in my mental mental side. Yeah. Okay. Brian. How hard is that to do? You said after the match you were happy with the Olympics, but your focus is on now. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people would still be celebrating uh, if you win a gold medal. How, how hard is it to, okay, now I'm going to focus on and not think back about that. It is really hard because I know gold medal means a lot to my country, for my family, also for me. Um, it's not like you get gold medal before. It's, you know, you are the first one. Of course, you're going to stay a long time in the successful feeling. I done that in Australia Open, but I, I was just in the final. And the effect takes me so long to come back to uh, reality. And I had this experience already so this time when I had the success in Olympic Games to come to next tournament I say everything starts zero you are not anymore Olympic champion just be humble and trying to work fight every single match because if you don't fight you have a big chance you lost yeah Hi, Anton Moran from Equipe France uh, if I'm not wrong you're born in a, in a city named Xi'an uh, can you tell us a little bit about I don't know, the economy, the daily life, the memories you have uh, as, a, as a child of, in the city? Mm, it's a small city, like really quiet. We have a lot of mountains there. And when I grow up, you know, basically I just go to school every morning and afternoon as well and going to play tennis after five o'clock. But my father, he will push me to do some fitness after tennis. Basically, it's just simple, normal life. Um, I mean, hanging out with the friends and going back to dinner with family. Yeah, very simple and very basic. Any more questions in English? Yes. Good. 
Yeah, uh, congratulations. You have had, you know, you are having a really good year, starting with the Australian Open and uh, the Olympics. So, um, what's your mindset now? What do you think you need to go a step further here in New York? And if the energy affects you in any way? Uh, I think if I want to do better in New York, I think I need to continue to find my real game on hard court and maybe trying to be a bit more aggressive because in the match today, I would like to be aggressive, but I feel that, no, today if I go aggressive, maybe I have more chance to meet, so I prefer stay more calm and then just play one more shot. But, yeah, I would say just trying to fight every match and let's see what I can do this year in New York. Two more in English. Corey, you had one? Yeah. And then Matt, finish it up. In terms of New York as a city for you, uh, what kind of emotions do you feel here? Is it a city that works for you? It's very loud, it, it's always moving. Do you prefer quiet? Do you like this? Kind of what is your relationship to New York? Yeah, it is always going to be noisy in the stadium. And especially the other new rules, you can come in every single game. So the people always going to move more. So right now, as a player, we have to try to adapt to don't focus to the people who's working. You know, because sometimes when they're wearing bright colors, they are so easy to catch your eyes when you are there returning. And yeah, that was funny, but actually it's the truth. But this is how it is. New York is busy, is street style. I mean, it's different. I like it, yeah. Okay, one last question. No shooting from the seats, please. Sir, no shooting from, no shooting from the seats, okay. Matt, last question. I forget what it was you said in Paris, something about showing your father, you know, proving this to your father that you could do it. What, what sort of conversations did you have with your father after you won the gold medal? And, you know, was he proud of you or did he say, like, back to work right now? Um, he's obviously proud of me for sure. I know deep inside him, he must be so proud. But he doesn't show that much to me. Uh, he started to say, now we're going to move to next next journey, next steps. Uh, there is more dream for you to fight. Keep working hard. Because he always taught me since I was a little kid, if you don't work hard now when you are young, um, I mean, you miss half of your life. Because when you work hard and you enjoy at the same time, you benefit a lot. Yeah, my father is always a hard worker mentality. He teach me a lot. Yeah. That concludes English. Chinese.